This is a quick demonstration video of how to use the print to fax feature on the fax finder fax server. It makes faxing extremely easy. You don't have to print any documents out and go to the fax machine or type in the longer email address to where there's you know more room for error in doing that. So I'm going to start by showing you in the quick launch icons taskbar you should you want to make sure you have the fax finder client software application running the application has been pushed out to all the city computers so if you don't have it just contact the help desk and we'll get it installed for you get you set up and make it where you can use this feature because it's really cool and you definitely take advantage of it um, so if you want to check here make sure you have the application make sure it is running if it's not running you don't see it here you want to go to your start menu and just launch the application. It's easy, you just double click on it and it'll start running in the background. So that way when you select the print option, it knows it's there and it can select as a printer. If it's not running, it cannot select as a printer. So now that you know how the application needs to be running, let's start by sending a fax with the print to fax feature. So the first thing I would have my application, this is an Excel spreadsheet, um, typically I would have to either convert this to a PDF and send it with the fax from email feature or I would print the document out and then fax it from one of the fax machines and as everybody knows that can be a painful process just typing in all the information on the keypad um, so now I don't have to do that. I can just use the print to fax functionality. And it's really easy. You just select file and print, just like you would if you were going to print the document. But instead of selecting a printer, you select multi-text fax finder. And this is going to be an option anytime you print from any application, anywhere on your computer, whether it be Internet Explorer or a Microsoft Office product or it's an image or email anything you want to print now you have the fax server as an option of a printer so once you select it you just click the print button and it's gonna pop up the faxing application they make it really easy um, all you have to do is add your recipient information so if I was gonna fax this to the HR department I would just type in their fax number. You have the other optional information. I don't think you have to fill this out, but it doesn't hurt to do it. And then that's and I can add multiple recipients. I can send this to more than one person at a time if I needed to um, to make it easier so I don't have to send multiple faxes and it's going to show right here under the documents pane my document that I have attached it's going to convert this to a PDF before it sends so it can send it through the fax server on the other end they receive it as a fax it's a hard copy document they don't know the difference as to what format it's in but the fax server will convert any document that's attached here to PDF just like a PDF printer would um, you probably want to select the cover page option so it doesn't just print out the fax and the city of Griffin fax.pdf is the default cover page that we created. Uh, you can check it out. Just click in the view button and show you. You don't want to fill it in here. It's going to automatically populate these fields for you on the other side. It's going to fill in the two number. It's going to fill in the fax number. It's going to put who it's from. It's going to put your fax number, the date. What it's about is the subject, and that would be the number for follow-up and the comments section is what you can fill out on the this page here this is regarding so regarding test and my comments are test so, and once you've got your facts all set up and ready to go you just click the schedule button and if you see at the top it says the scheduling options are sent immediately once I click schedule my fax is going to start communicating with the fax server and you'll get a successful schedule 
and that means that it's gone to the fax server and it's on its way. It typically would take probably between two to five minutes for a fax to go through depending on the size. Um, larger faxes obviously could take much longer but that's sending a fax from the print to fax option. It's, it's really clean, it's really easy to use and it gives you the ability to print from any application. If I wanted to print from this web page, I have the same options as I did from Excel. Clicking the print button. Multi-tech fax finder. Print and it's going to pop up the fax finder application and it's going to give me the option to send that as a fax. I'm not going to send that a fax. I don't want to bombard the HR department with fax spam, but um, it's really cool, and I think it'll make people's lives easier for using the fax to or print to fax option. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is if you have a hard copy of a document and you have scanned that document already to your email or to a file share on the City of Griffin's network, uh, it's really easy to still use this same functionality if you don't want to send it through email or send it through the fax machine itself. So if you've you've scanned an, a copy like this, you receive an email from the printer and it tells you that you've got your attachment. All you have to do is open up the PDF as if you were going to you know, view it and when you're viewing it, just like in Excel, file, print, select multi-tech fax finder as your printer and hit the OK button and it's going to spool and it's going to pop up the fax application and now you can send your fax from here. You never actually have to print the document and then you go scan it and you know you save paper. Um, it will make it easier for you to send faxes. So if there are any questions about using these features or if you like these this demonstration video and you'd like for us to do some more on any other applications in the city of Griffin that you think might be helpful. Uh, shoot us a line and let us know. Just put in a help desk ticket and say, hey, you know, that was cool. We liked it. I'd like to see a video on this or a video on that or you know, anything you think might be useful. We could use it as a tool for helping out people in the city to make everybody work a little easier. All right. Thank you for watching.